like I'm playing when I say 18. Everybody got time for this. I got my own life to live. Call me a mean mom if you want to. Kids need to fly. They need to be set free, just like a bird. Fly, birdie, fly. Set free, go on on your own. You gotta learn how to okay, fly. Okay, Clinton, I have a question for you. Yes. Do you think that there's a trade school or something else you think you wanna do? What is it that you wanna do with your life? Seriously, I'm serious. You're not sure yet? Still 16, I don't know what I wanna do. But do you think college is something that you want to do, or yeah, I guess so, do you yeah. guess so, or a trade school? Because if you are not excelling and doing well at school, you, do you think that college is going to be easier? Because, no. like I know, for example, I know Caleb is considering um, trade school because he's he's is. gifted with mechanics, so he's very gifted. Yeah, mechanics. I'm not like that. I know. Does it? Have, there's all types of stuff you could do. How about a DJ? No. Make that money, get the parties. No, no, and learn how to do all that keyboard stuff. I have another girlfriend who lives in New Jersey, and her son went to uh, I don't know music school to learn how to do all that keyboard stuff. He's a fantastic DJ now. We should fly him down for a big party when you turn 18. <laughs> So have you I thought? Turn 18 for a long time. Uh, that's two years, son. I'll be out of high school. Right, right. Uh huh. You'll be out of high school. So, what do you think? If you're not really into school now, college is not going to be any easier. Because two I years understand. is two years to come here fast. Hmm. I know. I just don't know what I want to do. Not sure. Well, I can tell you this. When I was in um, college, I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I did well in high school. And I went to college. I did liberal arts. I knew college was something that I wanted to do because I was the first to go to school in my family, the first to graduate and so forth. So college was on my plan always. It took me a long time to finish, but it was always on my plan. So I took liberal arts. But you can't spend money on college if you know that's not what you want to do. It's expensive. Yeah, that squirrel. Oh, too late. <laughs> it's expensive. Yes, I know it's expensive. So if college is not for you, which is not for everybody, there are other routes you can take to become a super successful because you are my brightest child. You are the smartest kid in the house. No, Bobby, no, Bobby makes straight A's, but Bobby has an amazing work ethic. Well, I don't even have that work ethic. That's what Bobby has. Bobby has a work ethic that I don't think any of us have. So she tries extra hard, that's why. Bobby tries hard 110%. Sydney tries 75%. What do you think you try? I don't know. Where do you fall on that scale? I don't know. What, what would you say? Mm -hmm. You don't know? No. Half? You only give half percent? I don't know. School is hard. School is hard? Yeah, especially whenever you're doing that's your hardest year in high school. But you know, school is hard. That means you have to try harder and you never want to try harder. And that's okay. I'm not going to keep going cuckoo over your schooling because I'm tired. And schooling is not for everybody. But you must finish high school. That's a, that's a given. You live in the house, you got to finish high school at least. Oh, no. I'll finish high school. Okay. I'm not saying get all I A's. Wanna, I want to go to college, but it's expensive. And I don't know what I want to do. But on my plan thing, like whatever it said, what I wanted to do, I just put business or whatever. Business? Because I'm in all those business classes. Oh, you're in a business class? Well, I'm, I'm in a lot of business classes. Well, you can go to school for business administration. You could run a, your own company. Yeah, I know. Me me and Corey, uh, Corey, the kid who lives down there in a really big house, his dad is the executive of ExxonMobil. He going to give you a job? 
No, and he is talking, and Corey likes straight out of college. He's gonna, like his dad has a lot of business plans and stuff, and me and his dad and Corey were talking about if I'd like to join him, because I was talking about how to business classes and stuff. And he asked me if I wanted to join Corey. But, Cor but Corey's very smart. He He's getting, he's gotten offered offers from UT and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, so he, Corey is smart. And why yeah, is like he's he's very smart. Okay, so he's smart because he studies and he does his work. Yes, that's that's why I usually do my homework with and stuff. So is Corey your friend? Yes. So we're, we're very good friends. So is Corey teaching you how to study? Yeah, he, whenever it was me, Sam, and Corey were over there doing homework, and it's that his dad his dad knows some Japanese. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Say something in Japanese. See, Clinton, Clinton is part Japanese, so. I didn't go with him to pick out his classes. I didn't go with him to pick out his classes. And when he came home, like, oh, Ma, I took Japanese. I was like, boy, we live in Texas. Most people speak Spanish. Why did you choose Japanese? Because I don't know a Japanese person up in Texas, you know. He says, well, I, 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 I'm Japanese, so I figured I'd do Japanese. Okay, fine. So say something. Say something. Well, Tashiwa then why I'm gonna talk about us. <laughs> How many brothers and sisters do you have? Um, I I'm, I forgot brother and sister, but I know mom and dad. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so like mom is ha ha, and then ha ha. Why does mom gotta be ha ha? You think I'm a joke around here? So mom gotta be ha ha. Stop. Ha ha. Yeah, mom is ha ha, and then dad is. Okay. Very good. <laughs> well, the one thing I just want to say that I love you. <laughs> I love you. <ya. laughs> I love. Okay, no. Well, <laughs> that I think that school has always been a challenge for you. And we've been through everything with you in school. And school is not for everyone. But I think that it, I think that you're gonna be, you're gonna be okay. As soon as you figure out what it is you want to do, then we need to focus on that. We just need to focus in what it is that you want out of your life. And if it's a trade school, we need to figure out a trade school. Because if I get another email from one of your teachers, what is trade school? What is a trade school? Trade school where you learn a specific trade. It could be mechanics. It could be computers. Um, it could be um, home health, home health aid. Is it's, it like a university? No, no. Where you learn a trade, it's like a certificate type thing. So you go in there for something specific. So then, what is college like? You have to go to different classes. Yep. So with college, you're gonna be taking your English, your math, your, your science, your history. Stuff. When you do the trade school, you're going straight for your trade. It's like, it's like, I don't know, I could be wrong. It's like you're, you're bypassing all of the history. You're bypassing the stuff that you know you're not going to use. Are you, uh, are you there for four years? No. How many? Just trade schools are, they have different time frames on trade school. It could be six months. It could be 12 month program and you're done. Because you're going specific, I could be wrong, but you're going specifically for something specific. You're not taking all the other stuff that you know you're not going to use, your histories, your science, you're not doing that. So, so let's, I'm not sure if I want to do that. I want to so go like to for, university. Oh, you want to go to university? Yes. But you know university, you got to make good grades. And the way uh, that Texas you... Texas State, you just have to have a 2.5 GPA. You know what Texas State is? No. You should probably leave Texas to try to, you know, experience something Texas new. State. Why? Because that's where your friends are going? No, and it's a good school. Oh, you don't want to leave Texas? Because I might be going to China. I could teach in China, honey, so I won't be here. I think I should wear my hair like this at school. You know they got good schools in China. As soon as the last child leave, I might be gone. Pack my stuff up and use his luggage use his luggage that's at the door and take my butt to China. How about that? So, now you want to go to university, but... I never said that I want to go to trade school. 
Okay, I'm just giving you different options. Well, I just dropped Clinton off to work. I guess I'll go back home to try to eat something because at this point right now, it's 2 o'clock and I haven't eaten anything, but the coffee is holding me a little bit. And as you can see, we had a little conversation about school. So all the haters out there to say, oh, why you say that about your son? You don't care. You don't know what I've been through with Clinton. We've been through it all. Single mom and I've held him down for 16 years never turned my back on him and when I have to sit in his classes I'm the mother up there sitting in the class. I'm the mother up there sitting in the 504 meetings uh, Fighting for my child. I'm the mother who created a classroom geared towards children with ADHD and made the news for it. Teachers who have been teaching for 20 plus years never been on the news for something that they've done in the classroom so don't tell me that I'm not a good parent. You can bite me with that one, boo. I've been through it all with my son. I've held all three of my children down for 16 years with Clinton, 14 with his sister, 13 with his other sister. Never turned my back and my kids never wanted for anything because mama's always there and I know how to pull a rabbit out of a hat, sugar. Mm. Oh! Yes, Jesus, praise Lord. I'm gonna close out on that one. Boop.